Hello and welcome to our section of keyword research, creating a tasty keyword medley. And we're going to be doing this using the Google Keyword Planner. So if you guys are wondering what a keyword medley is, uh, what that is is essentially taking all the external data that we had gathered in the previous video, all those keywords utilizing the YouTube auto suggestion feature uh, by typing in A and B and C and uh, brainstorming all the different types of keywords that are available. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be taking all that data and inserting it into the Google Keyword Planner. And we're going to figure out how many monthly searches that it gets. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add all the keywords and we're going to be generating new keyword ideas using the planner. And we're going to uh, be looking for decent traffic, low competition keywords, okay? So what we're gonna be analyzing is the amount of searches they get monthly, and we're gonna look at the competition, but we're also gonna look and make sure that people are paying for that keyword, because if, say, they're only generating a penny or, or, or spending a penny or two pennies or zero, what that means is it's not worth it, right? We wanna make sure people are spending a good amount of money for those keywords, which means essentially it's worth it, because, you know, if, I mean, there's so many people, uh, billions of people that if, someone isn't already making money on monetizing it, then it's probably not worth it, okay? So uh, now whatever keyword tool you use, I mean, there's so many great keyword uh, tools out there. Um, whatever one you use, totally, totally fine, okay? So what we need to do is we need to go into our AdWords account, okay? So let's go ahead and go into our AdWords account. Okay, so we are currently in our Google AdWords account. What we wanna do right now is we wanna get search volume for the current keywords that we have uh, currently found, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go here. Uh, I've created a spreadsheet of the keywords that we got. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and copy these. And we are going to insert them here into the Google Keyword Planner. Takes a second here. All right, great. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to historical metrics. And this is gonna give us a breakdown. Now what you wanna do here is click this top button up here, average monthly searches. And now it's gonna separate it by the amount of monthly searches from highest to low. Now look at this. We have how to cook steak, 49,500 monthly searches and low competition. So this is actually good, about 50,000, I think really up to like 60, 70,000 is really the highest that I would want to go. Otherwise, when you go too high, you see some that have hundreds of thousands, millions of monthly searches. The competition is going to be insane, like almost impossible to really rank for that. So we want to go for anywhere between... You know, I won't go lower than 400, okay? We want to go for uh, anything over 400 monthly searches and uh, a certain amount of competition. So look at this one right here. We have low competition, 49,000, and the top of the bid range is $1.20 per keyword. So what that tells me is that people are paying money for this keyword. So this would be a, a good keyword to, to go for. Now, if you see here, uh, we have silverware organizer, cooking utensils set, these have high competition. So you may not, it may not, sometimes, you know what, uh, Google and YouTube are much, much different, guys. Uh, so competition that's high in Google uh, may not be high in YouTube because, uh, you know, it's not as popular. So what, you don't want to like necessarily get rid of the keyword just because it has high competition. Uh, but, uh, you know, use your best judgment, right? So if you see here, cooking videos, we have 5,400 monthly searches and low competition, 253 for bidding. So these look like two good keywords right here, how to cook steak and uh, cooking videos as well. So what we're going to do now, look at here, 11... 82 
is the high 105 here. Best cooking utensils, 26 cents, dollar three. Kind of lower on the lower end there. Let's see, best cast iron skillet, 9,900 monthly searches, $2 uh, and one cent. So uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead, after we get this data here, what I'm gonna do now is go back, go here to tools, and here go here to keyword planner. And where we're gonna find new keywords, we're gonna generate new keyword ideas that can help us reach uh, new audiences. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in here. Let's see, cooking videos. Cooking a steak. These didn't really have much. This one didn't have much. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and search and we're gonna search for new keyword ideas. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go right here. Average monthly searches. See right here, food. <laughs> has 7 million monthly searches. There's no way we're gonna get that keyword. So we're not gonna really look for anything above. Remember, we're, this is just too much there. Now, now check that, this is definitely some good uh, keywords here. How to cook salmon, so we had how to cook steak. This one is how to cook salmon. 90,000 monthly searches, low competition, so let's, what can we use on how to cook salmon? Maybe if we're selling uh, knife sets, we could be selling how to easily cut salmon because maybe the skin is tough to cut. That could be a, a item that we sell, okay? So this might be an, uh, a good one here as well. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cooking this and we are gonna want to um, basically add it to a group. Let's see. So right here where it says add to plan, you would click add to plan, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is adding it to a specific plan, and then we're going to be taking these keywords and we're gonna be saving them here into an, a spreadsheet file here, okay? Let's see, so how to cook rice. So we could be selling rice cookers, okay? So look, 90,000, low competition. So we'll go ahead and go that one right there. Turkey cook time. Pressure cooker recipes, we could sell pressure cookers. We could sell uh, turkey basters, we could sell maybe thermometers that go into Turkey to see the temperature. Um, we can do see cake recipes, how to cook quinoa. Lodge cast iron, now that's high competition, 60,000. So maybe we'll skip that. Over easy eggs, low competition. How to hard boil, so if we sell maybe merchandise for hard boiling eggs, how to cook prime rib, we had how to cook steak, actually we already had that one. Here's some more ideas. Now we're getting more into where I like to be at, around the 40,000s or lower. How to cook artichokes. Cube steak recipes, if you want to sell maybe cookbooks, food recipes, how to cook butternut squash. Let's see here. 
cooking steak in oven. Maybe you guys have, uh, a, maybe there's an affiliate program that you get paid every time you refer someone to a special cooking class. So maybe something like cooking classes. How to season a cast iron. We can talk about cast iron grills. Pots and pans, how to cook chicken, cast iron Dutch oven. We can sell grills, how to grill steak. Cooking corn on the cob. Maybe we can sell corn on the cob type products. We're still gonna choose cast iron. Egg timer. How to make boiled eggs so we can actually sell, we can sell egg timers through teaching people how to make hard boiled eggs, hard boiled egg cooker. So you could see how this is high competition. So because people are selling hard boiled egg cookers, but you may want to sell hard boiled egg cookers through telling people how to make hard boiled eggs, right? Instead of actually targeting this keyword, you can target this keyword to sell this right here, if that makes sense. Pan fried steak, we can sell different pans. Eggs Benedict recipe. How long to cook. Cast iron skillet recipes, that's a good one. We can sell, we can sell different uh, Chinese products. Well, this is a good one, best way to cook steak. So the best way, let's say we had some grills or like, I don't know, George Foreman grill, I, don't, I really, there's so many things you could sell, best way to cook a steak, and we could really talk about the different items to cook the steak on. So this could get someone to go out and purchase a specific item. Cooking steak on a stove, so we can sell different items on the actual stove. How to season a cast iron pan. So we can talk about the different cast iron pans when we're talking about seasoning. Best pots and pans, best nonstick pans. See how these have high competition? But we'll go ahead and select that anyway. Seems like in this niche, the best way to sell merchandise and different products is to teach people how to cook certain things because people are going to be cooking things, right? And, and when you're actually teaching them how to cook things, like let's say, oh, I'll give you an example. So the other day, uh, actually yesterday, I looked at a keto recipes from my girlfriend. And so I found that, you know, there's a page that talked about the 30 best keto recipes. And there was this one recipe that talked about how to cook chicken thighs and how to make a specific uh, sauce for it, right? Now, the, uh, the, actual, the actual recipe was for pressure cookers, right? It was cooking the chicken through a pressure cooker. So the, the whole goal was to make sure, you know, we could finish the recipe within 30 minutes or 20 minutes, super fast, right? And there was this one item that was being sold, but it was, I looked up how to cook, uh, you know, keto recipes, right? So some of the best ways to sell items could be to sell, to, to give uh, recipes, right? So we want to be putting in here like all these different recipes, right? So 
let's find the recipes, right? How to cook roast beef. And, and so we could sell pressure cookers through, you know, uh, telling people and teaching people how to cook roast beef, right? How to boil the perfect, whatever it is, how to cook cube steak, steak on a stove. Okay. Um, good monthly searches, low competition, how to cook sirloin steak, Indian food recipes, Simple cookie recipes. So what can we sell there? We could sell, you know, baking uh, supplies. How to make a steak, soul food recipes. We could cook, you know, we sell egg pans, ways to cook eggs, types of eggs, okay? So you guys get the picture here, cleaning a cast iron skillet. That's a good one, okay? So you guys get it. So. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video and I'll just keep adding these to the plan. Now go for a hundred. Okay. A hundred is the magic number. So go for at least one, 100, uh, different keywords. Okay. All right, cool. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, learning how to do uh, keyword research and finding out how to build our e-commerce and uh, digital product websites.